Hi everyone, uh, this is Darmadi. I am uh, CIO of Toyota Astra Motor. It is a pleasure for me, I can join this event actually. Yeah. Toyota Astra Motor, uh, actually the distributor of a uh, Toyota vehicle in Indonesia. Yeah. In this event, I want to share about uh, how we utilize the micro strategy, especially uh, micro strategy visual insight and also uh, the micro strategy dashboard yeah, to help our business users to do the analysis, uh, especially in uh, retail sales business and also the after sales. So I'll go through my presentations. This is uh, the agenda today. I will give a simple explanation about the overview of Toyota Astra Motor. Then what is the business challenge that we face? Then the high level overview of our uh, architecture, yeah, the time data consolidation, the roadmap of our data utilization and the sample of the business case, yeah, how we using the micro strategy uh, in uh, our company. So let's start first with the Toyota Astra Motor. Uh, like I mentioned, we are a distributor of Toyota vehicle uh, in Indonesia. Yeah? So we are a market leader in uh, vehicle sales in Indonesia. We grab uh, the market share around uh, 30%. Yeah? So uh, in Indonesia, I think more than 10 years, yeah? more than 10 years in a row, we already become a market leader in Indonesia. We have uh, more than uh, 350 outlets, yeah, sales showroom and after sales workshop. Yeah. And it's located uh, at all around Indonesia's RC Pelago, yeah, from uh, Aceh to Papua. So if you have not known about uh, Indonesia, so you can see the map of uh, Indonesia here in this screen yeah so the indonesia have uh, so many uh, island yeah we have uh, five big islands and uh, we have uh, many uh, small small city that actually located it uh, across our archipelago so uh, that's uh, one of a uh, challenge point for us yeah, to collect all the data yeah, from the because the location is uh, far away yeah, spreading all around the archipelago. We sell around uh, 22 vehicle models and we have uh, around more than 200 vehicle types. Yeah. We, we have uh, all model that's covering all the market segment. Yeah. We have uh, MPV, SUV, a commercial and sport. So uh, we have a type of the vehicle for all the segment. So that's a quick overview of Toyota Astra Motor. Okay. What actually the business challenge that we are, we are facing here? Yeah? Currently, uh, our business user, yeah? the business user here I mentioned is all the business user from the sales yeah, especially. Yeah? the sales, the vehicle sales, and also the part sales, and also the after sales uh, service, after sales service. They have, they are facing the difficulty yeah, to do an analysis. For example, if there are an issue, yeah, in this COVID situation is, I think is a true example, yeah, truly example. For example, uh, you know that uh, in this COVID situations, the retail sales is uh, dropped significantly. Yeah, but uh, in some area might be not drop uh, to much. Yeah, because uh, some of the reasons. So we need to analyze uh, one by one, province by province. Yeah, even uh, city by city about uh, our retail sales. Uh, uh, decrement, yeah. So we need uh, an analysis, and our business user they need a tools, yeah. So they are able to do analysis by themselves. So the the I emphasize the word here, 
the business user doing an analysis by themselves. So not every time they come to the IT yeah, to us, because if every time they come to us, is our IT team is uh, become a bottleneck from them. Yeah. So why I want to insist the business user able to do analysis by themselves. So uh, that's one of the example. The challenge uh, here, how they can have a accurate and almost real time visualization or dashboard. Yeah, in uh, we have around 350 outlet, like I mentioned. So how about the retail sales in one outlet in Manokwari, Papua, for example? That's uh, the uh, one of our, our outlet in Papua. Yeah. We want to know their daily sales, the volume of their after sales market. Yeah. So we need the data, yeah, accurate and almost real time. Yeah, we need to visualize that. So that's uh, uh, the first the business challenge. Then the second, like I, I, I mentioned, that uh, after that we want to able to analyze any of the business issue, yeah, and it done by the business user uh, by themselves. And the third one, yeah, actually after we able to visualize and analyze. The next step is how we can make a forecasting. Yeah, the forecast. How is the uh, retail sales uh, predictions, the market prediction for the next uh, year, uh, the next three years, for example. Yeah. Then, based on the uh, prediction, we need to take an uh, action. So that's all the our business challenge that are facing by our business user there. And uh, as you know that as an underlying yeah, all of this issue, actually that we need uh, data consolidation first. So all the data from the uh, sales after sales, yeah, we need to consolidate in our data warehouse yeah, real time, almost real time. So uh, that's one of the prerequisites. So here, actually, our high level overview of a uh, thumb yeah, data consolidations. So you can see here at the left side, we have actually four major application yeah, that support our business. We have uh, around 84 business application and these four major applications we categorize as a, a basic yeah, basic functions. First is a demand supply, yeah, ordering and allocation. Then vehicle logis the vehicle logistic, how we dis distribute the vehicle. Part logistics, yeah, this is a distribution of the spare part. And the last one, dealer management system. So how all our dealer actually can run one system yeah, in its uh, workshop yeah in its showroom yeah they run one uh, dms dealer management system with uh, one dms that integrate that centralize actually we able to grab all the data uh, real time yeah so from our core system this is our core system yeah all the transactional data we get uh, in one uh, big data warehouse so you can see here, yeah. And also not only the data from our core system, but also the data from our supporting systems. Yeah, like uh, from our finance, uh, finance applications, HR, purchasing, and uh, the dealer. So all the data we gather in one big data warehouse. Then we add also the external data. Yeah, the external data from the social media, yeah, for example, from the uh, in Indonesia for from our statistic bureau, yeah, from the government yeah, that give uh, information uh, about the yeah, you know inflation rate, yeah, for example, yeah. So all the data we gather in one big data. Uh, then after that, 
the challenge is how we can utilize the data. Yeah. And for the data utilization, actually they are four step. Yeah. I think this is uh, common. Yeah. Most of you already known about the data utilization step. I think this is. We start with uh, what we call as a descriptive. Yeah. How we can visualize all the data. Then, after the descriptive, then we try to utilize the data to create an analysis. Yeah. Then predictive and prescriptive. So that's uh, our plan. Yeah. This is the roadmap of uh, data utilizations. Uh, like I mentioned, yeah, there are four steps. First is visualizations. This is very basic, yeah, because uh, if we are not able to visualize, yeah, uh, what already happened, yeah, for example, the the retail sales data for every uh, showroom, yeah, for every brand, real time. Yeah, how many uh, Toyota Innova? Yeah, Innova actually one of our model. Yeah, Toyota Innova that was sales at uh, Manokwari or at uh, our dealer at uh, Aceh. Yeah, the North Sumatra. Yeah, so if we are not able to show the data, yeah, I think it's uh, that's a big issue. Yeah, because that's a basic uh, mandatory. A question, yeah. So first, visualization the step of uh, data visualization. How we can visualize the data that already happened in the past, yeah. In our company, I think it is very common. Everyone uh, and all our management, actually, including the BOD, we emphasize how we can speak by data, not based on assumption, yeah. So in, in one meeting, if you want to explain something, show us the data. Uh, the data actually already gathered in data uh, warehouse, like uh, in the previous slide. And it's depend on the business user, yeah, how they can gather all the data yeah, quickly and visualize it. So the first step, then the second, the analytic, yeah, how they can analyze yeah, the data, what already happened. Then predictive, create a prediction and forecasting, yeah, what will happen in the future, and then prescriptive. Prescriptive after we know the after we are create a forecast, then we should create a strategy yeah, to anticipate uh, the projection that we already made. So that's a uh, four step. And actually, the micro strategy we use yeah, in first step visualization and the second step, then analytic, yeah. So we're using micro strategy to help us in visualization and analytic steps. Ah, I'm uh, directly yeah, show some of the uh, business case here, yeah. I have uh, two or three uh, example here, yeah. This is the sample of the business case, uh, especially in. Uh, I, I I will show three actually three samples yeah from sales after sales and finance uh, area yeah divisions here uh, the common the common one yeah previously you can see here yeah the before and after yeah and the above is uh, the conditions before we are uh, implement the micro strategy and uh, the below one yeah is uh, after yeah. For example, we can see here an analyze uh, analyze from the uh, retail sales deficiency, yeah, or from the after sales deficiency or the finance deficiency. Yeah, previously what uh, they do is uh, they need to collect and cleansing the data. Yeah, the data collections is actually uh, previously they are using the Excel to gather all the data. Yeah, all the dealers should send the data using the Excel, then after they receive the data from the email, then they collect all the data, centralize uh, in uh, one uh, source and cleanse it first. Yeah, Then they create a dashboard using the 
uh, chart in Excel, yeah, using the Excel chart. They create a dashboard, then from that, they make an analysis from that, yeah, the output. So uh, then after they create the analysis, they will sharing it using the email, yeah, PDF via email. So all this process actually need uh, in average yeah, five days. Yeah, so in uh, a month, if we want to get the data, yeah, this is uh, the condition before we apply the micro strategy. Yeah, at least we need uh, a week, yeah, to collect the data, to cleanse the data, then uh, share the data. Yeah, because uh, as I mentioned, we need to collect the data from all uh, our dealer. Yeah, the data from our dealer actually. We are collect yeah every day yeah so because of that the data yeah we receive uh, from 350 outlet yeah and the total types and model that we have because we have um all the line of a uh, type of the vehicle yeah we have more than 200 uh, type of the vehicle so you can imagine yeah. Uh, 350 outlets, yeah, multiply with the uh, around uh, 200 types of vehicle. So, if we want to get the retail sales data, uh, you can imagine uh, the manual process that uh, we did, yeah. So, that's uh, before uh, we need uh, five days, yeah, in average. But after we are using the micro strategy, yeah, because uh, we already centralized all the data. Yeah, all this effort actually uh, convert. Yeah, they don't do it manually, but they using the micro strategy. Yeah, for the dashboard and analytic output. Yeah, we already put in micro strategy. Yeah, we have a micro strategy dashboard, and all the dashboard actually can be accessed by. All the business user, yeah, the relevant business user, the management, the BOD, and also by dealer, yeah. So for example, if we are mention uh, the retail sales of one brands, yeah, all the dealer, the dealer owner, the dealer top management, the TAM BOD, the TAM business user. All of us actually we have a same view, one view, yeah. So we access through the micro strategy dashboard, and the uh, data there is valid because uh, accurate. We get the data uh, from the applications directly, not sending through the uh, email uh, anymore using the Excel, yeah. So that's the significant changing, yeah, before and after. So uh, we automate the process uh, from the five days, we can convert it uh, into one hours for to create a uh, data visualization. So this uh, actually the common things, yeah, not only at the retail sales, but also the at the after sales and finance. Yeah. Uh, this is an example of the visualization that we are created in the sales area. Yeah? You can see here, this is actually our sales dashboard. Yeah. At the uh, the first chart, actually, this is the executive uh, summary. Yeah, executive summary. It show the numbers. Yeah, our target, our actual. Yeah, and how is the evaluations? And the below one, actually, this is our achievement daily, daily achievement. Yeah, so we can monitor here. There is uh, also the red and also the green color. The red and green color directly show that uh, we achieve the target or below the target. So this dashboard, yeah, what we call as a retail sales dashboard, can be accessed uh, by all the uh, stakeholder, like I mentioned. Yeah, this is uh, one of example of our uh, retail sales dashboard. After we launch this, actually. All the stakeholder is very happy yeah, because uh, previously they cannot uh, get the data uh, quickly. Yeah, they should wait, and sometimes the data is different. Yeah, 
the dealer mentioned that uh, their retail sales is, for example, 50. Meanwhile, the others mentioned 49. So sometimes there is a discrepancy, uh, accuracy of the data. But after we convert with this, there is uh, no question uh, uh, anymore. Yeah. So everything have a same uh, point of view, same view. So this is an uh, example of the uh, uh, retail sales dashboard. Uh, this is the upper sales area. It's uh, quite similar yeah, with the sales area, but here it shows uh, all the data uh, about the after sales. Yeah, the surface share now. Yeah, how uh, the achievement of the surface share compare with the target. Yeah, whether we are below the target or not. Yeah, and yeah, this is. Uh, more about the after sales, yeah. Might be some of the words here uh, not common for you, like a CPUs and also SBE, yeah. But uh, what I want to mention that uh, this dashboard, this surface here dashboard, truly help our uh, after sales uh, analysis. And here, the example of our uh, the finance dashboard, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is also very important. Why this is very important? Yeah, like you know, that's uh, the financial conditions of the enterprise yeah, of the company will be what uh, monitored by all the stakeholder. Yeah, how is our, for example, uh, horses performance? Yeah, how is our uh, operating profit? Yeah, so with this dashboard, yeah. All the management have a uh, same uh, view, and they can access and very quickly uh, get the data. So this is also uh, this one of uh, what important achievement for us. Yeah, after we show this, all the BOD is very glad. Yeah, because they can uh, see everything uh, quickly and clearly. This is an example of the visualization of the uh, finance uh, area. Uh, after the visualizations, like I mentioned, the next step is uh, analytic. Yeah? Uh, here, I want, I want to give an uh, example, uh, the analytic that we made in the sales area. Yeah? The example is uh, about the matching analysis, yeah? matching possibility of analysis. What does it uh, mean? Yeah? So uh, some uh, we have 350 dealers. Each dealer they have their own stocks, yeah, based on the model, yeah, and their stock is depend on the condition of uh, each dealer, yeah. Uh, the area is different, yeah. The province is different. Usually, some of the model for the vehicle might be. Uh, have uh, some uh, the good market share, but uh, at the other dealers, this type might be not have a good uh, market share. Yeah, so different city by city. For example, uh, Toyota Innova or Toyota what uh, else? Toyota Avanza. Yeah, in Papua maybe Avanza the sales is uh, higher than Innova, but in the other. Uh, Brands like in the Aceh, for example, yeah, it's uh, might be it's different, yeah. So every dealer they have their own stock, yeah, if, uh, based on the model refer to their own market, yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, one dealer, for example, they need they have an order, yeah, from the customer. Yeah, the customer order the model that actually they don't have the stock. Yeah, it means if they should wait, yeah, the customer we can uh, might be move to the another brand. Yeah, because we don't have a stock. Yeah, they will move. Uh, for example, to yeah uh, the other brands. Yeah, but we can prevent it by what yeah this is the idea of the matching analytic yeah so we are uh, each dealer yeah we know the stock of this dealer 
the order from the one dealer that cannot fulfill because of there is no stock at the dealer, we can see to the others dealers. If the others dealers, one of the others dealers, they have the stock, then we can swap it. Yeah, swap it to fulfill the request from the outstanding uh, dealer. Yeah, so the I that's the idea of the matching, matching scenario. Yeah, uh, we are using the micro strategy uh, visual insight here, and uh, do by the business user them, them, themselves. They do the matching analysis here. Yeah, based on. The matching analysis that uh, they do, actually we can increase our retail sales, I think around 5%, yeah? we can increase. And when we can prevent the uh, loss opportunity yeah? because uh, one of our dealer don't have a stock. So that's a kind of the analytic that uh, conduct implement by our business user yeah? using the Microsoft strategy uh, visual insights. Ah, this is also the another example, the analytic and after sales area, and also in the finance area. Yeah, in the after sales area, for example, we know that uh, the every vehicle, yeah, have a regular maintenance. Yeah, every thousand kilometer, ten thousands, every ten thousand kilometer, yeah, they should come to the workshop. To have a service, to have a maintenance, yeah. But sometimes uh, there are two things, yeah. First, the vehicle, the owner of the vehicle, not come to the workshop for many reasons, yeah. Even though we already send the uh, maintenance reminders, yeah. The second things, yeah, we we need uh, to know. Why they are not come to our workshop? Yeah, because if they are not come to our workshop, it will impact to the our surface share. Yeah, yeah. In, in Indonesia, the situation is uh, different. Yeah, because uh, even though we have a uh, official workshop, but the second channel workshop, yeah, second channel yeah, workshop, not uh, official workshop. Actually, uh, many second channel uh, workshop uh, outside. Yeah. So that's uh, become a challenge of our business. Yeah. So we need to analyze why the uh, owner not come to the workshop. Yeah. So this uh, that's one of the analytic from the after sales area. In finance area, I, I think you know uh, everything uh, refer to the profit analysis, cost analysis, for example. Yeah. So that's all. Uh, uh, my uh, sorry, uh, the experience that I can share. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, actually, it is a honor for me to share here and uh, to make it more clear. Actually, I have a quick video yeah, that uh, show how our business user actually how they did their analysis by themselves. Yeah from uh, the sales analyst. Yeah, there are two cases that I want to show in the short video, the next short video. First, how they can uh, slice and dice, yeah. Take uh, all the data from the, the data warehouse, then create their own analysis, especially for uh, help us to improve the retail sales, yeah in the its dealer yeah the short story actually about the matching ratio and also about the uh, retail sales performance so that's all for me thank you